So the game I'm playing today is called Ricochet. Man oh man, this is something that I've wanted to cover on my channel since I created this channel like seven years ago, I would say. Probably even longer than that, actually. So Ricochet is a game that I am certain 99% of the human population does not remember. The game was not exactly a commercial success, and I don't see how it could have been anyway because it was originally released for free when it first came out. If you have no idea what what Ricochet is, it's a mod for Half-Life that originally came out all the way back in the year 2000. It's not a third-party mod, however. Most of the mods that are made for Half-Life are fan-made, of course. However, Valve themselves actually created some Half-Life mods of their own back in the day. Yes, in addition to third-party mods for Half-Life, there does exist first-party mods as well that Valve themselves developed, and Ricochet was one of them. One of the other notable first-party mods for Half-Life was was Deathmatch Classic, which I already did a video on, that was a couple years ago by now. The game was initially released as a free standalone mod for Half-Life, although Valve would later release an update to Half-Life, which made it so that all copies of the game would now come with Ricochet. And when Steam finally launched, for some unknown reason, Valve decided to re-release Ricochet as a commercial product, slapping a price tag of $5 on the once free-to-play mod. Why they chose to do this, I have absolutely no idea. To be perfectly honest with you, I wouldn't say that this game is worth $5. Looking back at it 18 years later, it definitely hasn't aged well, and this was never the best mod for Half-Life anyway. I'm not sure if this mod was even remotely popular back in the day. I assume Valve's decision to include it with Half-Life might have broadened its reach and exposed it to a wider audience. I mean, if you look at the game's reviews on Steam, it actually has twice as many user reviews as Deathmatch Classic, which kind of makes me think that it might have been more popular than it, and it is older than Deathmatch Classic as well, by about a year. Although it is worth noting that when comparing user scores, Ricochet actually has less positive reviews than Deathmatch Classic. But we're playing it today because I've wanted to do a video on this for quite a while. The reason I held off on doing it for such a long time was because I encountered pretty much the same problem that I did with Deathmatch Deathmatch Classic, the fact that literally nobody plays this game anymore, there's only about 15 or 20 servers, and all of them are completely empty. Thankfully though, I was able to find at least one server that had bots playing on it, which is also how I was able to do the Deathmatch Classic video, that was pretty much the only way I was able to do it. So I will at the very least be able to simulate what a normal game of Ricochet would look like if you had real players. I should mention now that this is also a multiplayer-only game. There is no single-player campaign or anything. So, with that being said, how about we dive into this long-forgotten... I, I want to say classic, but to be honest, Ricochet is not exactly what I consider a classic video game, because it's not very good, honestly. But again, just for the sake of showing off something interesting, albeit relatively obscure, which has pretty much always been the entire theme of my channel, we are going to be doing a video on Ricochet today. So with that being said, let's just dive right into it. Right, well, here we are in one of the maps of Ricochet, one of the very few maps. Yeah, the first thing I want to get out of the way right here... Look how many maps there are in the game, guys. There's only three of them. Yeah. I, I will admit, Ricochet is a pretty bare-bones multiplayer game. I mean, you only get three maps here. And, and another issue is that all of the maps look identical to one another. There really isn't a lot of variety in this game in terms of, like, map design and also the amount of maps. Even Deathmatch Classic had more maps than this, but anyway, I digress. I did create my own server here with no players because I just want to try and get uh, the game's mechanics out of the way first, just try and explain this to you guys before I get into a game with bots. So this is what Ricochet looks like. As you can see, it has a very... Tron-like aesthetic, I would say. So basically what Ricochet is, is that it's a multiplayer deathmatch style game, where the objective is to simply knock your opponents off of the stage. You have these various platforms that you jump across, and you have these weapons called discs that you can throw at other players. As the game's title would insinuate, you can ricochet the discs off of these yellow walls right here, or I guess these yellow barriers, because they're not exactly walls. They seem to be placed a little bit arbitrarily, I will admit. Now, there is a little bit of a catch here. 
You actually can't jump in this game. The spacebar has no functionality whatsoever, so you're probably wondering, well, how exactly do you jump from platform to platform? Well, you'll notice that all of these platforms have these little arrows on them. These arrows essentially act as bounce pads. When you step on them, it will launch you in the direction of that arrow, or the direction that the arrow is facing. So I can demonstrate this right here. So I hit this arrow. As you can see, it bounces me over to this platform. And this platform right here has about four different directions that I can bounce in. So for instance, if I want to go and bounce over to this red platform, I can go and do that. Those flashing objects on the side also act as bounce pads. I'm not sure why they're just kind of floating in the air but as you can see they will also bounce you around as well so you can kind of just bounce yourself off the side of them and if you do somehow manage to fall off the stage which is kind of easy admittedly because the platforms are relatively small uh this will happen yeah you, you just kind of fall into uh into a black hole and you just get consumed by it but not without your character unleashing a uh, a, a scream of terror before he perishes. What I do think kind of sucks is that the game has absolutely no music in it whatsoever. It's just sound effects. Like I said, this is a pretty bare bones mod. I think the installation file for this game is only like 16 megabytes in size, so you know there's... J just from that alone, you can tell that there's not a lot of substance in this game. So what about the actual weapons? So I said that you can throw discs at other players. You can do that by left-clicking. You can also hold down left-click to uh, constantly fire discs. If you're too lazy to put your fingers to good use. However, it is a smart decision to not constantly spam the discs, because you'll notice that you have what's essentially an energy meter at the bottom of the screen. So you have three discs below, and they're all uh, glowing yellow. When I throw a disc, they stop glowing yellow. W when it glows yellow, that basically means you're at full power. But you'll notice that if you constantly spam discs, you'll start to run out of energy. But as you can see, even when the meter fully depletes, you can still kind of launch discs in other directions, or you can still kind of spam them, and the rate at which you fire the normal discs is pretty much the same, regardless of whether or not you're just left-clicking rapidly or just holding down left-click. So what exactly is the energy meter important for? Well, you do have a second type of disc that you can fire called a decapitator disc. And as its title would imply, it can be used to kill other players instantly by decapitating them. The normal discs cannot kill players outright, it just knocks them back a little bit, but you can still use it to knock them off the platforms, because that's the objective of the game overall. But if you have full energy, you can fire a powerful decapitator disc that just kills anyone it touches instantly. It looks the exact same as a regular disc, but it has a much louder sound effect, which is a little bit annoying. But that's what the energy meter is useful for, because if your energy is not full or you don't have full energy, you can't use the decapitator disc, so you have to wait for it to recharge completely, and then you can fire one. So you can only fire one of these at a time, and you'll also notice that when your disc covers a certain distance, it will eventually despawn, and it will be returned to you. So basically, if the disc ends up moving out of balance, like this right over here, yeah, as you can see, it just despawns, and you get all the energy back. Just like in Half-Life, you can still use the shift key to crouch, although I have no idea what that would be useful for in a game of this caliber. I guess you could use it to prevent yourself from accidentally falling off the platforms, like if you're moving incredibly fast, you can just use it to slow yourself down. But other than that, it's not insanely useful. So now let's move on to power-ups. So there are various power-ups, at least in the deathmatch maps, that spawn at certain points in the map, and these power-ups will provide your discs with additional attributes. There's four different upgrades in total, and I'm gonna see if I can try to show all of them off here. We'll collect this first one. So this one is called a free shot, and as the name would imply, when a free shot hits a player, it freezes them in place for a short period of time. Pretty self-explanatory. And the upgrade doesn't stick with you forever either. I believe you can only fire three discs and then the upgrade will disappear. Also, if the free shot could stop spawning over and over again, so I can try showing off some of the other upgrades. Right, so this upgrade right here is a power shot. As the name would imply, it just provides additional power to your discs. As you can see, I, I think they move a lot faster than the normal discs. This will provide additional knockback, making it a lot easier to just kick your opponents off the stage. Well, not necessarily kick them, but just kind of, kind of like, kind of like push them off into the empty black void below. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the maps in this game do look kind of messy. I mean, it, it really does seem like all of the platforms are just arbitrarily placed, like there's no 
structure to them whatsoever. It just looks really messy, almost as if it, it was like hastily put together. Almost looks unfinished. But that's just me. So this third upgrade right here is a triple shot, as name would imply. You can fire three discs all at a time. And then this last upgrade right here is a fast shot, which allows you to just spam discs all over the place. Holding down left click would come in handy if you manage to uh, collect that upgrade. So when the power-up spawn, it always provides you with a random power-up every single time. I don't believe there's any pattern to how the power-up spawn. It just gives you a new one all the time. Sometimes it gives you the same power-up like three to four times in a row. Like it's doing with the fast shot right here and what it also did with the free shot a while ago. It's also important to note that you can only throw the discs straight ahead of yourself. Like you can't launch them downwards. Like I'm looking downwards, but as you can see, it's just firing them straight in front of my face. I have no idea why the game was designed like this, but I guess that's what the purpose of the elevated platforms are. Like, if you want to actually try and hit other players, you have to you have to essentially get on the same vertical plane as them, or I guess the same horizontal... No, I think vertical plane would be, would be correct. I don't know, this game is incredibly weird. It's definitely unlike anything I've ever played before, but that's not always a good thing. Not necessarily. I don't feel like it's done really well, in my opinion. Like, like I, I really do not understand why I can't launch discs downwards. It is possible to knock players out of the sky. Like, you can have situations where players will be in midair and they can still get hit by discs, like as they're flying upwards or something, or as they're, like, jumping across the platforms. But other than that, you have to pretty much be on the same vertical plane as your opponents in order in order to hit them, because you can only fire them straight. I, I don't understand, like, any of the design choices that Valve made with this. Like, come on, Valve. Like, seriously, what were you thinking? Honestly, don't get me wrong, I definitely love the idea of this game, but it's it's not executed well in the slightest. Yeah, it's it's no wonder this game eventually became forgotten with time. It's just not good. There's just nothing of substance here. It's, it's another one of these games that's basically all style and no substance. I mean, the lack of maps isn't so bad as long as the game has like an active modding community, but I'm pretty sure the modding community for this game is pretty much dead now. I mean, it has been 18 years. Well, I mean, to be fair, it's been like 20 years since Half-Life launched, and its modding community is still as active as ever, but I'm just saying, like, I, I don't think it was ever that popular to begin with, and it's it's just not a good game in general. It's it's kind of shit, honestly. Yeah, so I'm just kind of demonstrating that you can, uh, yeah, you can bounce your discs off the walls right here. You'll also notice that if your discs don't fly out of bounds, they will actually bounce back to you. So they kind of, like, return to you after uh, a couple of bounces. So even though you only have three discs here, the disc will actually return to you after a little while. Like, if it's just flying around the arena, bouncing off the walls, and doesn't manage to hit any of its targets, then... It just kind of flies back to you, like a boomerang. So that's pretty useful, they're kind of like intelligent discs. Despite the fact that this game is not intelligently designed in my opinion, I mean I don't consider myself to be a an expert on video game design, but I think anyone can see that this game is just, uh, I don't know, relatively poor quality. I mean Deathmatch Classic is not exactly a great mod either, but it's leaps and bounds better than this crap. Real quickly, I want to show off this other map called Arena. I have no idea what the point of this map even is, because it doesn't allow me to spawn in. Yeah, enter to change modes, you'll automatically be placed in the game when it's your turn to play. But I have no idea what this game mode actually is. It seems like this is the only other mode in the game. I assume you need, like, more than one player in order to spawn in. Maybe that's why it's not letting me spawn. But you can just kind of look around the map. The platforms have, like, little jets flying out of them, so it's kind of like they're suspended in the air. Like, they're rocket-propelled. And this is also the only map where you have these, like, purple electric fields. Which, I assume, will hurt you if you touch them? Well, I don't see how you'd be able to touch them, because, like I said, you can't jump in this game. So, if you try to take a, a running jump off the platform, well, you can't actually do that. You'll just end up falling to your death, so I don't see how you'd be able to actually hit these fields. You'd be able to hit them with the discs, definitely, but I don't see how the actual players themselves would be able to uh, collide with them. So I don't really understand what exactly this is about. I assume this is like the only other game mode within the game. This is like the arena mode. 
but I have no idea what its purpose is. Maybe if there was a Ricochet server that had bots playing on it in the arena mode, I'd understand, but unfortunately there isn't as far as I'm aware. As a matter of fact, I am going to uh, disconnect here. Find the server. So this is the server right here that has the bots on it. It has no players on it, no real players, but it has a couple of bots that are just kind of roaming around and killing each other. Yeah, and as you can see, only 17 servers. Literally none of them have players on them. Although, when I was playing this off screen, I could have sworn I encountered a real player at one point. I think a real player joined this server specifically, but then they left because I just kept killing them over and over. I don't think they actually understood how to play. And then when they left, I just kind of felt bad, but anyway. <laughs> so to cap this video off, we're we're going to join the server here quickly, and I'm going to show you guys what a normal round of Ricochet would look like if you had multiple players, even though the players I'm up against are not actually real, but screw it, let's just connect to the server. Did that even work? It didn't at first, but whatever, let's just go. Okay, so it has to it has to download some custom f files and custom wave sounds. Yeah, so there's only like two other uh, bots here. Yeah, RC bot, my god. Haven't, haven't used that, uh, that add-on for, like, the original Half-Life in a long-ass time. But yeah, I have no idea why my, uh, my discs are green here, though. I mean, uh, well, actually, it's probably because my character is green. I don't know, you can't see your, your player model here, because there's no way to, to view this in, like, third person. Something I forgot to mention up to this point is that whenever you kill someone directly, you will receive one point. So, basically, the objective of the deathmatch game mode is to try and get as many kills against your opponents as possible. You get one point for every direct kill, and at the end of the match, the person with the most amount of points will win. So, it's pretty simple. And another issue is that there's no way to view how much time there is left in the match. Like, the game will occasionally notify you how much time there is left in the match, but there's no way to, like, view it on the leaderboard or anything. And there's, like, not even any any timer that appears on, on the HUD. There's practically no HUD in this game. So, yeah, you're just, uh, just kind of hitting other people off the platforms here, and then they just die instantly. I guess the death animations are disabled for this server, because whenever I fall off the platform, it just... It, it, it lets me respawn instantly. Like, as soon as I fall off, I just respawn within, like, a second. So, yeah, that's, that's basically Ricochet, guys. So, you're just kind of going around, throwing discs at other people, trying to knock them off the platforms and it only stays exciting for maybe five minutes at most, but after that, it, it gets boring pretty quickly. So I'm not gonna be spending too much time with this, that's for sure. I'm gonna see if I can try and get some ricochets right here. I, am, I do not know how that guy like jumped over my disc right there. I think I still managed to kill him anyway. If I can actually show off the free shot here, Come on, get get one person. I'm pretty sure that disc hit me directly, but it did, like, absolutely nothing. Yeah, you even have the same, like, fall damage sound effects from Half-Life. Despite the fact that I don't think you can actually take fall damage in this game. Here, get my, get my, uh, oh my god. Why did I get propelled? Here, get out of here. There we go, very nice. That was a clean kill. A fresh kill right there. Let's see if I can use a decapitator disc here. Okay, I don't know where I got hit from, because I'm pretty sure he was not in the same plane as me. Here, let's throw a decapitator disc at him. Oh my god, he dodged it. Oh, there. Gotta get a taste of your own medicine, buddy. Also, pay no attention to the fact that one of the bots is called MILF. I, I'm not in control of the bot names at all. That's that's the server, the person running the server. I don't think there is even a, a human being that does run this server anymore. Otherwise, I would probably be seeing actual, like, real-life, honest-to-god people here. I kind of feel like this server might have been abandoned after, after a while. Apparently, it's a German server, if I had to guess, because it has the .de extension. Oh, hi. How are you doing? You were just kind of staring at me. Yeah, so the objective here is to is to basically keep moving all the time. Like you can't you can't stop at any point. You have to keep constantly moving. Oh, there's the free shot. There we go. Yeah, so they kind of get like a blue aura around them, and that's how you can tell that they're frozen. Or at least I assume because I've actually never seen that before because <laughs> I never managed to hit anyone with the free shot until now. And the only person I was able to hit with it wasn't even real. It was a robot. Okay, here. Let's let's try and get a better look at this. Okay, I think he's frozen. Okay, maybe it doesn't, like, freeze them outright. Maybe it just slows them down. That's probably- maybe that is what it actually does. Okay. I- I just assumed that it froze people outright, but 
No, I guess I guess all it does is just like slow them down and makes them a lot harder to actually move around. So I guess in a way it's kind of like if they were crouching. Yeah. So I guess you can kind of simulate it here by just simply crouching by pressing the shift key. Here, power shot. I missed all of my power shots. Great. Oh god. Oh jeez. How are you doing, buddy? God, did I, I okay, I'm gonna see if I can hit it. Okay, well. <laughs> There. He he used the decapitator disc on me that time. That's why I died instantly. Okay, let's see if I can actually use that on myself. Here, ricochet. A as the name would imply- wait. Go over there. Dang it. I really wish that I could actually throw these goddamn discs, like, upwards or downwards. Why do I have to throw them straight in front of my face? Makes no sense. This this is not this is not fun in the slightest. This this is not what a multiplayer game should be. Okay, here we go. Maybe I can hit it. Okay, well I almost got him. He kind of like jumped over it. Wait, I'm behind him. He doesn't see me. I'm giving chase to him. Giving chase to him. Oh my goodness gracious. I mean these kind of these kinds of mechanics would probably be great in a speed running game. Honestly, like kind of just bouncing off these these sideways platforms. Well, I managed to kill some guy. Oh my god. These bots are, like, infinitely better than me. I have nine points so far. There we go. Just just bouncing back. There we go. Get out of here. Darn it. The, 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 uh, the sideways bounce pads keep saving them. The ones are just floating in the air. Here, decapitator. What in the world? I, I think one of those discs just did, like... It, it just did, like, a flip in midair. Did an aerial flip. Decapitator disc. Uh, again, I think I, I missed. I think I missed. I definitely missed. Bots are behind you. For real. Bots only. Have fun. Yes, imagine imagine a universe in which in which we're not playing multiplayer games against real people anymore. Just just robots. It's a grim future if I've ever seen it. This is not something you should be celebrating. I'm just saying. I mean, even though this game is not exactly good, I'm at least still glad that its multiplayer component is still being kept alive somewhat. You know, its multiplayer component is get is kept alive so that I'm at least able to actually do a video on this and show you guys something that that is long forgotten, that has since been forgotten with time. Oh, did I did I wait, did I get him? I don't know. I that was a decapitator disc, so I don't know if that actually like like killed him or not. Wait. Wait, I'm, I'm, oh, there, decapitation, one point. Can I actually see this? Okay, well, I wasn't able to, to see the actual jibs. Oh, whoa. Yeah, his head just falls off, but the rest of his body just kind of freezes in place there. Okay, well, at least I was able to get somebody with that. Yeah, but it doesn't matter if you use the decapitator disc or you just knock them off normally. You always get one point for killing someone. Oh my god, dude. They killed me in midair. That was, that was pretty good, I will I will admit. That was, that was a pretty clean kill. Come on over here. Here, get the power shot. Oh my god. It's moving too fast. Well, I should have been moving while I was doing that, so that, that was kind of that was kind of my fault, admittedly. I'm going over here. No, I'm not, I'm not even going for it for the upgrade. Okay, or maybe maybe I have to, because all all roads seem to lead to this this direction. Fine, we just have to go up. We just gotta get on up. Get on up, and okay, who, who keeps stealing the damn upgrades? Probably, probably that douchebag over there. Here, let me try and get something. Let me just camp out here. I'm getting that triple shot. Nope. Come on, come on, get your triples. There we go. Oh my god, see? The bounce pad is what keeps saving him. Because it only, it only launches you, like, straight. That's the thing. Be because of the fact that you can only throw the discs in front of you. Yeah, also, the announcer, I know for a fact, is not normally part of the game. Because again, I think that's like a, a custom sound effect that the uh, server is using so i mean that's this is all i can really say about it guys i mean that's 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 ricochet honestly yeah doesn't uh not not really the most exciting multiplayer action that i've ever seen or that anyone has ever seen probably wow okay that that platform like saved my life there get out of here very nice got that direct kill i also like narrowly avoided one of those one of those one of those discs. Okay, here. Triples. Triples. There we go. Wow, I just got, like, launched into oblivion at 500 miles per hour. I mean, you don't really have to follow the platforms. I mean, you can kind of just, like... Uh, if I can if I can demonstrate this here... Oh my god, if these if these guys will even let me. Get out of here. Get out of here, please. Yeah, you don't exactly have to follow the platforms. I mean, you can kind of, like... Like, follow... Oh my god, dude. Where am I going? I'm getting, like, bounced around all over the place. You get, get out of here. Get out of here, for goodness sakes. Stop hogging up all, all of my space. Like, you can just kind of fall off right here and just land on this platform. You don't always have to follow the arrows if you don't want to. You know, just gotta get some strategic falling. So you, like I said, you can't jump. Although it kind of looks like these guys are jumping. But I think that's like the... 
I think it, I think it's just playing that uh, animation whenever I'm bouncing off the pads. I think that's what it is. And I also noticed that your your energy doesn't seem to replenish if you die, like not like not uh, instantly. See, well I'm unique because I have I have the green decapitator. To, oh my god, dude, are are the bots lagging as well? That guy just like froze in midair for a second. Okay, here we go. No, he jumped over it. Nope, go back. Uh, uh. Damn it! But I guess in a way that does make the game a bit more challenging because of the fact that you can't necessarily jump over the discs when they're flying directly at you. I think you can also destroy other players' discs in midair. I also think I was frozen there for a moment because it showed a snowflake on my screen. I never, I never saw that before. Okay, who wants a piece of this action? I don't know where anyone is. Here, get him. Okay, never mind. He decapitated me. I'll just decapitate you back then. Okay, why am I not at full full power? This is what I mean. Oh, wow! <laughs> well, there we go. I managed to, to do it to him that time. That's that's what karma gets you. That's well-deserved karma right there. Decapitated him in midair. Nice. Absolutely clean. I mean, the decapitation animation is not exactly the cleanest. It looks like it was never finished, honestly, but... Whatever. That was still pretty good. That was still pretty damn good. Could you get away from me, please? Go away! Here, I'm just gonna get this triple shot and you're gonna just go away. There you go. There you go. At least I got- at least I got one kill right there. I mean, this game pretty much has all the components of like an arena-style FPS game. You know, just that fast-paced action, you have to constantly keep moving around. I, I guess technically there are frag kills because you do have like at least one weapon that can kill players instantly, like by simply touching them, if it simply touches them. Okay, it says that there's only three minutes left in the match. I'll probably just play this until the very end and then we'll see the results. I don't think I'm gonna win at this point unless I can make the comeback of the century and get like 50 kills within three minutes. I mean, there is no way to view your health either, in addition to not being able to view the time. So, like I said, a very minimal HUD, but at least, uh, oh yeah, by the way, 69 kills, good number. But I guess the minimal HUD is also kind of uh, a godsend as well, because at least it doesn't clutter up the entire screen, you don't have all sorts of stats just, like, you know, filling the entire screen here, so you can just focus on the action, primarily. Oh yeah, and also, there's, there's this thing as well, where sometimes it seems like the discs will actually lock on to uh, the other characters or the other players. Like, it locks onto them directly and it follows their movement. I don't exactly know what triggers that, but you can see that occasionally sometimes. Like, you might have been able to notice my discs were actually following uh, the, red, the red guy over here. Doesn't seem to do that all the time, though. Maybe it is when they're, like, when they're, like, below it. Maybe they will actually, like curve? They curve downwards? Wait, I want to try and, like, do this here. Or maybe it's when, like, one of the upgrades, maybe the fast shot does it? I have no idea. I'm really not sure what causes that. We only have, like, one minute left, though. Okay, make it up to the upgrade. Okay, nobody ha- there's, there is no damn upgrade because they keep stealing it. Okay, give me that! Damn it! Oh, Jesus. Okay, it looks like they're ganging up on me now. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, oh, wow. Deca okay, I decapitated some guy. I was, I wasn't trying to do that, for the record. But here, let's just there. Get, get those power shots. All of them missed. Excuse me. You are being awfully rude right now. Can you just like leave me alone, please? For the love of God. Here, let's get some. Hang on, hang on. Let's get, let's get like a, a decapitator ricochet off here, please. Get something. I hear the countdown. Come on, do, do a thing. Okay, never mind. I guess it just ends? Oh, it just ends instantly? It doesn't even show the results? Well, okay. I drew first blood. D do I get an achievement for that? No, because this is the year 2000. Video game achievements didn't exist back then. Something really weird was happening to that guy's animations there. Okay, but yeah, that's uh, that that's what a, a usual round of ricochet looks like in the game here, guys. Here, get all this fast ricochets. Hit something, please. No? Okay, fine then. We'll, uh, I, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna disconnect here. Now, I do believe that some people have created some custom maps for Ricochet, because there's actually some other maps right here that are called, like, Tower and Hellhole and Rat Race. So, I don't know, can I try and just, just connect to this server quickly just to see what one of the custom ar Ricochet arenas would look like? Wait, this looks exactly like the arena map again. Oh, wait, maybe it refreshed. Oh, it did- it, oh, it did change, okay. Well, there's one here called Crossfire. Can I- can I- can I see this? Is this- is this a, a thing? Okay, yeah. 
it's it's custom and it actually downloads it so that means it might have added it to oh i can't continue without the model did that add it to my map list no it didn't tower apg what is what is this i want to at least see what one of these maps looks like fine download all the custom materials necessary oh wow Oh, hey, and we have some bots in here as well. Okay, so what exactly, what exactly is this? Well, there's, there's green, lean, mean, and green. Oh my god, do it. Okay, well, I died there, but geez, the, uh, the platforms keep on saving me whenever I get hit. Okay, you get out of here. Okay, I guess the only downside to this here is that, uh, yeah, you have the death animation, so that's gonna, that's gonna get a little bit annoying, honestly. Okay, but at least I managed to find a custom ricochet arena. Okay, well, both of them died. I'm the only one alive. I'm going over this way. All platform gaming. Because you gotta be inclusive. What in the world was that? Okay, yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was a decapitation and a half. Oh, come on. He just completely avoided that. Yeah, I am green. So I was wondering why my shots were green. You gotta be, you gotta be inclusive. You gotta be inclusive to, even to people who play on other platforms. Platforms other than PC. Yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely, like, moving towards them. They, they are, like, curving and trying to follow the other players. It, it must be when I'm collecting one of the upgrades. Yeah, when I have the free shot, then they curve. Okay, can I just, like, stay out here then? I mean, I have, I have a wall behind me, so I can't actually, like, I can't actually get knocked off the platform right here. This is good cheese. This is some really good cheddar cheese right here. Wait, single rebound kill? Okay, I guess I I guess I get two points for that, whatever that was. I'm not even sure what I did. Yeah, but as you can see, I'm just getting constantly hit right here, and I'm not dying. So, I don't think there's actual- I don't think you actually get damaged by anything in this game. The only way you can die is getting hit by the decapitator and also falling off the stage. Literally the only ways in which you can take damage in this game. And that's pretty much it though. Okay, decapitator. Damn it. It was just like two inches too short. Do it again. Oh yeah, and when, okay, well actually no, I have, wait, what? I have fast shot and free shot? Wait a second. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop being cheap and just start moving around again. Wait, are you telling me that I can actually combine the power-ups? Because why did it tell me I had fast shot and free shot? Whoa, wait a minute. I gotta go and test something out here. No, you stay away from my upgrades. Okay, power shot. Because I know that I'll keep the upgrades as long as I don't fire discs. Okay, get the other one. Like, spawn another one, I mean. I think it just spawned another power shot. Wait, hang on a minute. I gotta avoid these guys' discs in the meantime. They're not even coming towards me. They're just killing each other. Yeah, fast shot and power shot. So I think I can combine these. Can I- can I get, like, a, a triple combination here? Oh my god, I can- I can. Yeah! Oh my god, dude! You can combine the upgrades! I had no idea you could do that! My god, fast shot and triple shot is, like, OP as hell. Revelation! Revelation! I'm not sure if I'm even using the word revelation in the correct context, but whatever. I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep on moving. I don't wanna- I don't wanna keep being cheap here. So you can, yeah, you can hang on to the upgrades. That was a stupid death right there. Yeah, but you can hang on to the upgrades and then you can combine them. Okay, well, I guess there is like some strategy here then. Because I was not aware you could do that. Okay, what combination do I want here? So does that mean you can actually combine all four of them? I wonder. Yeah, free shot and power shot. I'm gonna see if you can try to combine all four of them here. Just, just give me a minute. These- these guys have nothing on me. Oh my god, triple shot, three shot, and power shot. Well, this is a splendid little discovery right here. Oh my god, you can combine all four of them. Okay, who wants a piece of it? I think you want a piece of it, don't you? Get out of here. Oh my god, that- that somehow did not kill him. Well, maybe this will. Yeah, it does lock onto them. Yeah, it follows them. Okay. Well, good- good thing I actually tried experimenting here. Okay, well, I, I guess there is a little bit of strategy here, then, because you can actually combine these upgrades, which I was not aware of. I guess that's what I- that's what I get for not experimenting more off-screen, but... Either way, guys, I think I am going to leave this video here, so that was a little bit of ricochet. I think that guy just killed himself. So yeah, just a little bit of ricochet gameplay, just showing you guys probably the most obscure game that Valve has ever released. Even more obscure than Deathmatch Classic, something that I, I think, like, very few people remember. Yeah, that guy did a flip in midair. Wait, can I do that as well, I wonder? Oh god, I shouldn't have- I shouldn't have hesitated there. 
Why did it say that he killed me? I was the one who hesitated. That was my fault. That one was all on me. Yeah, but I'll be surprised if anyone watching this video even remembers this game. I mean, to be fair, I kind of forgot that this game existed. I mean, I was just kind of looking in my Steam library recently after a while. Wait, is this like a real... Are you real? Oh my god, guys, I think we- wait, I think we found a real player. I think we found another real player. I don't- again, I don't know why it told me I died. Wait, guys, I think there are real players joining the server here. What is going on? Hello? Is there another lost soul here in this server? Did I discover another lost soul? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, there's a yellow guy over there and another purple guy. I'm gonna go and like, like find them then. Because, hello, oh wow. That decapitated. That's what I get for standing directly behind him, I guess. Why is this guy just like throwing out, out discs at me? Yeah, you can stop them in midair as you can see though. Okay, you know what? You, if you're just gonna spam discs, get this decapitator. Okay, well that guy stood in my way, but you know what? Sure. Fine. There. That's what you get. That's what you get for, for spamming. Okay, so you do actually fall down. Yeah, look at that. Their heads just stay there. <laughs> Can I teabag their heads? <laughs> no, I can't. I, I can't. It, it doesn't actually do, like, a crouching animation in this game. Yeah, and their, their jibs just kind of disappear after a while. Well, it does... Player 1 change name to Lusum. Player change name to change my name. I think they're real people. Oh my god, Gaia's... We've discovered some lost souls here. Hello, how are you doing? You're- f I think that guy is frozen. Oh my god. Okay. Let's- let's go with maximum carnage here then. We have like five people playing. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, I- I really want to end this video now. Because I'm- I'm just getting distracted at this point. What with some uh, supposedly real people suddenly joining the server? There's like three of them now. What is going on here, dude? Well, four players, including myself, but like... What- what is happening right now? This is- this is strange. I don't know what's happening. Four people just like died instantly and I have no idea why. Okay, well one of them just left. This is the other guy right here. And he's not even- not even playing. Player change name to help me type my name? What? Ex- wh what? What are you- what are you- what kind of request is that? Help me type my name. Can't you do it yourself? What? I don't know what ha- well, okay, well, he's gone now. Um... Well, alright. Why- why is the other guy just like, move for goodness sakes? Come on here, you gotta like, try and play the game correctly. Anyway, I- I really need to end this video here, cause I have no clue what the hell's going on anymore, guys. Weird things are happening. Strange things are happening. You didn't even attempt to avoid that. Oh yeah, you can even see like, the- the little stub. You can see the little stub as well. God, what are these screams? Yeah, that's Ricochet, guys. Oh my god, how did I land on that platform? That is Ricochet, okay? Y you get it. It's- it's- it's an interesting little, like, multiplayer game, but it's not- it's not great, okay? It's- it's not exactly the most- the most perfect game ever, okay? It's- it's not, like, fantastic. I wouldn't say it's, like, terrible, but it's- it- it does get kind of bland and boring after a little while, but... I, I would say try to find some servers that have, like, custom maps on them. Maybe then you can have a little bit more fun with it, but, uh, okay. Well, you can kind of see the little blue aura that shows that they're frozen. There we go, get a little bit of a, a better a better view of that. There we go, get it. Oh my god! Okay, they can get absolutely gored as well, apparently, not just decapitated. I also like how the, uh, yeah, the little freeze aura also, uh affects their jibs as well. Damn, okay, this game's actually a lot gorier than I thought it was, but yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Ricochet, guys. I don't know what else to say. It's, it's not a terrible game, mind you, but it's definitely not one of, uh, not one of Valve's greater IP is. I think they could have done a lot better with this, honestly, and like I said, I still really like the idea of this and the concept, but it, it, it wasn't executed well. It just wasn't executed very well. If you want, like, a more fleshed-out deathmatch-style game from Valve, then I would suggest maybe playing Half-Life 2 deathmatch, or even the original Half-Life deathmatch as well, because I know that, uh... I, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but... Valve also created another Half-Life deathmatch game based on the original Half-Life. I don't think I ever mentioned that in any of the HL2 deathmatch videos that I made. So if you if you want like a deathmatch game based on the Gold Source engine, then yeah, I would recommend maybe playing Half-Life deathmatch. Well, actually, I don't think the uh, I don't think the original version of Half-Life One deathmatch is available anymore. 
Oh, he falls with me. Okay, fall into the void with me, never to be seen again. Yeah, because the version of Half-Life Deathmatch that's available on Steam is actually the Source remake. It still uses all of the assets from, like, the original version of it, but it's just all been ported to the Source engine, kind of like Half-Life Source. I guess I should rephrase that, because I don't think I worded that very well at all. If you want, like, a Deathmatch-style game with this particular aesthetic, even though it doesn't necessarily run on the original Half-Life 1 engine, play Half-Life Deathmatch Source, or Half-Life 2 Deathmatch if you prefer for, uh, better graphics or more realistic graphics. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this server because I'm just getting distracted at this point. If I stay on the server, I'm just gonna get constantly distracted by everything's going on and I'm not gonna be able to end the damn video. Yeah, by the way, this was also back at a time when, uh, yeah, spray paint images were, uh, relatively limited as well. This was the spray that I always used to use in, like, the old, uh, Half-Life based multiplayer games. Always this, like, light blue lambda symbol. If you go to the advanced options, there's literally no multiplayer advanced options at all, so I have no idea why this option's even here. Anyway, guys, that's Ricochet for you. I wasn't expecting to play it this much. A lot of weird things began to happen near the end of the video. I think we had, like, three actual players suddenly join the server near the end, which was highly unexpected. Yeah, we have- there's four- there's four people in this server now. So there's like- what? I- I don't understand. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, well, I definitely wasn't expecting that for sure. I guess there's still a few people who play this game? But it really begs the question, why exactly are they here? I don't know, they- they organizing a LAN party of some kind? Not- not only that, but- why- why were they like just staying in place and just randomly throwing- throwing discs? at me, and, like, not even moving whatsoever. I don't know, were- were- were they, like, eight-year-olds joining the server? Like, I- I don't even understand what happened, but... Anyway, Ricochet, if you want to purchase it, for whatever goddamn reason, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video I make. This got really weird near the end, but whatever, I- I guess it made it a little bit more interesting to watch. Perhaps. I don't know. Still, go go check this game out if, if you want to, but I, I would just recommend playing Half-Life Deathmatch instead, or Half-Life 2 Deathmatch. Whatever. I don't know. I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.